Ever wonder what the real reason is behind your favorite classic stars of the silver and small screens? Real Stars Weekly's got you covered. Tim Allen, classic star of TV's Home Improvement, in which he played lovable buffoon and eccentric daddy, Tim, the tool man Taylor, was born on June 12, 1952, in Denver, Colorado. Tim Allen grew up in a strict Christian household, and wasn't allowed to drink soda pop. Every morning, Tim Allen and his parents would piously pray the hell out of all their food so that it wasn't devilish or poisonous. All his life, Tim Allen dreamed of becoming a Christian minister. As a little boy, he would dress up as a minister for Halloween every year, and even continues this tradition today as a full-grown man. But in 1978, disaster struck. Tim Allen was arrested in the Kalamazoo Battle Creek International Airport for possession of over 650 grams of cocaine, and after bravely refusing to rat out his best friends, was sentenced to life in prison. While in prison, he soon became the unofficial house chaplain, leading a Bible study group and administering the final rites to inmates dying from injuries sustained in deadly jailhouse shankings. Tim Allen loved prison. But there was one problem, Malik, the tool man, Muhammad. Malik was an African-American Muslim who would get on Tim Allen's nerves by saying Muslims were cooler than Christians and that Tim Allen was a real dummy. Tim Allen and Malik, the tool man, Muhammad would argue every single day, calling each other dummy and dum-dum and a false prophet slathering slack-jawed concubine long into the night. But then something happened that neither man would foresee. True love. Though the two men refused to go into too much detail about their torrid love affair, they both admit that it was beautiful and very sexy. Their daily arguments turned into daily smooch fests, and instead of calling each other terrible names long into the night, they would whisper sweet nothings into one another's ears, which were red hot with fiery passion. Soon, Tim Allen converted to the United Nation of Islam. The prison administrators were so inspired by Tim Allen and Malik, the tool man Muhammad's relationship that both men were set free immediately, so they could pursue their passions free from the bounds of federal incarceration. But once outside in the real world, their relationship lost its magic, and the two lovers broke up almost immediately after leaving prison. But they remain best friends to this day, still calling each other bad names in text messages, but this time, in a fun, joking way. After a prison, Tim Allen decided that if his new Muslim faith prevented him from becoming a Christian minister, then he would take the second most devout career path. Hollywood Actor As is custom, Tim Allen converted to Judaism before moving to Hollywood, while also minoring in Scientology, just to cover his bases. Tim Allen received his first big break while attending temple at Anabeth Israel Synagogue in Hollywood. Rabbi Carmen Finestra saw him in the first row, reading the Torah with such fervor that tears were pouring out of his eyes and ears and nose and mouth. Rabbi Carmen decided that Tim Allen needed to star in her new show, Home Improvement, which was optioned by ABC, but was stuck in limbo ever since the original lead actor was fired for seeming too waspy. Tim Allen agreed to star in Home Improvement, but only if his character could have the same nickname as his black Muslim ex-prison lover, Malik, the tool man, Muhammad. Malik was given this nickname in prison for the interesting way in which he would remove the body parts of his enemies with strange tools. Tim Allen felt this would be a touching reference to commemorate the beauty of their brief, intense love affair, but without being too in your face about it. According to Malik's current wife, Stacy Dash, when she and Malik tuned into the first episode of Home Improvement, Malik broke into tears of laughter at the mention of Tim, the tool man, Taylor. Malik smiled wistfully, and muttered under his breath, what a dummy. These days, Tim Allen can be found touring the world as a celebrated Buddhist monk, canvassing for the Tibetan independence movement and calling for the People's Republic of China's recognition of the Dalai Lama as the official temporal leader of Tibet. Want to hear more real stories of your favorite classic stars? Subscribe to Real Stars Weekly, and let us know what classic stars you want to hear the real truth about.